Embrace reality. It's Morningstar News. It's actually kind of cool to think um, kids growing up these days, they're going to be exposed to a lot of technology, right? We've seen technology really grow, um, you know, from home computers, laptops, phones, um, and we feel like the next step is virtual reality and augmented reality. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're really interested in this, um, the future of technology, um, but also, you know, the human element, the social element of it, how humans interact with that technology and use that technology to interact with each other and the world. Now we said embrace reality, you know, virtual reality, augmented reality, but that doesn't mean leave, you know, real reality behind, right? Um, we feel like, you know, people are gonna get into more virtual reality um, as the technology improves, you know, the headsets get smaller and things like that. Um, we see that as, you know, it's last year started getting big. Um, Facebook changed their name to Meta and, you know, Metaverse is a big topic. Um, you know, cryptocurrency, NFTs, the digital, um, it, the digital age, um, we're past the digital age, um, but, uh, you know, this virtual, this Metaverse age, um, we feel is coming. But like we said, that doesn't mean that, you know, people are going to be, uh, hold up in matrix like pods or something, right? In living online forever. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just an interesting topic for us um, because it's a, it's a future we wanna be around for. So the article that got us thinking about um, this this morning was from The Guardian. Um, David Chalmers, um, Reality Plus. And it, it goes about um, talking about uh, how the material world, the real world, um, as virtual reality and stuff like that, the technology gets better. Um, the real world might not be as um, alluring as the, the virtual world. Um, and yeah, so we kind of agree on that, right? Um, but again, it's not like the real world is gonna go to waste, right? Um, there's still that, desire for physical for being out there and everything but this adds another layer on top of it um and again we say virtual reality which is completely virtual worlds but then you have the mixed reality the augmented reality that makes the real world even better right um so yeah we uh, agree with this and while we haven't read the book or anything it's definitely something we're going to check out so yeah, check out the link in the description to the article. Um, it, it's not like a book review or anything like that, but it's an interview with the author and you get some of their thoughts, which is um, pretty interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, we wonder what the general population thinks about. Um, like we were saying, I think a lot of people are scared and you know, there will be people who are not into virtual reality at all, right? Um, so it's, it's interesting to see how things will progress and how, you know, the technology is getting better and better experiences and everything like that. But that doesn't mean everybody's going to be into it, right? Um, so yeah, we're, 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 we're out there looking for um, other people's opinions on it because obviously we have our wants and desires and our opinions on the technologies and what the future could look like, but you know, um, we aren't the world. <laughs> so yeah, that's all we've got for you today. Um, again, check out the link in the description because um, we thought it was really interesting. And um, if we read the book, maybe we'll do our own little book report um, and uh, give you a little review of what we think about it. Um, but yeah, that's all we got for you today and uh, take care.